Hello guys, I'm Val. In this video, this is all still a lighting test setup, so I'm not sure what I'm doing. My first hundred videos are gonna be probably trash compared to what I want them to look like. However, in this video, I know what I am doing with the makeup. And the look for today is KDA All Out Ari. This is a most requested, let's say, character out of all of them for some reason. And yeah, if you're interested, please keep on watching. So I primed my face, I applied the foundation and the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, the original one, because I can also use it as my eyelid primer, kind of. It's good for the oily skin, our upper eyelids are usually oily, so that's the way to go. But let's face it, I'm not wearing my makeup for a long time. It's like a couple hours during the video shoot and the photo shoot, and then I'm just removing everything and I'm bare faced again. I don't know if that even something that is people telling you is that price exist anyway i'm going for the more neutral pink peach in this case so i'm going to use majority of times only two palettes this is a linger lingerie lingerie i prefer it to be called lingerie but it's probably lingerie and uh, beauty bay bright and that's it. Uh, the plan is really simple, so this is not gonna be some crazy stuff. And let's get started with the eyes. This is as close as I can get. Um, now we're starting off directly. I will be listing all the eyeshadows that I'm actually using somewhere, maybe here. Uh, so I won't have to actually pronounce them during the video itself and you will be able to stop and see what is used as usually starting with the lighter shade I'm getting that all over my lid that pretty much sets up the concealer and gives me a nice base to blend into. Overall idea is pretty much the same as the other girls. It's gonna be more elongated from the outer edge to there and to the out from the outer edge to the outer edge. What am I talking about? And in the center we will add some shimmery stuff. Next one. This is probably as much as I would go for the eyes in this look. Of course it can be a bit more shimmery, but I really like the peachy with a pinkish tone. Um, maybe a bit more pink. Let me see. I think that's enough pink. And um, as you can see, I made it a bit after the actual eyeliner, so don't do as I do. Just try to do as I said. Uh, adding the pink before and now I would like to go for the lashes as usual um, more of a foxy lashes uh, longer at the outer edge a bit smaller on the inner corner and after that um, some face makeup in terms of the, just the contouring and blush and I will get back 
my watery eyes messed up the inner corner on this eye unfortunately it's a bit beyond sewing at this point for me personally and um, yeah you just gotta be careful one of the last steps that I did except the eyelashes is I used this color on my waterline this is just a gel pencil and um, now I want to get those nice lines that she actually has and for that i will probably be using something like a highlighter pen and it's like three lines on the cheeks um i'm gonna try to draw it like this and then fill out with eyeshadow Almost tidy does, huh? Still kind of fun though. And from this point onward, it's only the lip color and wig and stuff. So let's see the final reveal. Anyway, this is the final look and it's kind of cute, um, maybe not made for my face or whatever, but I like it, it's really nice and I got these ears from Amazon and this is just very cute, this freaking hair is not making me leave. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I know that not many of you actually watch till the end, so let it be. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!